What's going on guys? Welcome to the video. It seems we've got a battle for the Brexit number one as we approach the day that we finally leave the EU. Well, technically, because of course we all know we actually leave at the end of the year. But it's still a momentous day nonetheless. With Dominic Frisby's 17 million fuck off song for the Brexiteers pitted against Ode to Joy from the Ramonas who it seems have decided to make a push for that to be number one. The Ramonas started their attempt yesterday, with Dominic's attempt starting shortly before, as I had heard some noise about it before now, but didn't get round to making a video. This morning I intended to make one just about Dominic Frisbee's song, but it seems the Ramonas have decided to pipe up, and The Express is now running an article on it, so we will take a look at that also. Now Guido Fawkes have been running an article this morning saying get 70 million fuck offs to number one in time for Brexit. Help Brexit win again. Brexit hero Dominic Frisby is in a frantic race against the Ramonas to make it to number one on Brexit day. Whilst pro EU fanatics have been busily buying the EU anthem Ode to Joy, Frisby is battling to get his brilliant Brexit song 70 million fuck offs to the top of the charts. It is in the number two spot on Amazon Music and number six on iTunes download chart. Streaming through Spotify and Apple Music will also count towards chart position. So there it is guys, it seems the battle between Ode to Joy and Dominic Frisby is going on. So let's get him over the line and try and get the BBC to play this, which is the actual aim that the BBC will have to play this on the radio. And as it says here, help force the BBC into playing this song on Friday's chart show by chipping in a quid and buying the song on Amazon or iTunes. Frisbee is donating all profits to the Maggie Oliver Foundation for victims of child rape gangs. So all proceeds will be going to a good cause guys, I've bought it on both Amazon and iTunes already. So if you're able to and you want to support his song and get it to number one, not only to piss off the Ramonas, but to make the Brexit bashing corporation play it as well, then do your part if you can of course. Because on the other side we do have like I said, bit of Remainers plot to make European Union Anthem top the music charts on Brexit day. Remainers have kick-started a bizarre campaign to get the European Union anthem Ode to Joy back into the UK charts ready for Brexit Day on January 31st. Because as we all know, they're a bunch of salty pricks. One of the people spearheading the campaign is Lib Dem MEP Caroline Voden. Yeah, because they probably have more MEPs than they currently have MPs, the undemocratic fuckpigs. She is asking the public to download the song using one of the online music stores. As of Monday, the track entered the iTunes download chart in 24th position. As far as I'm aware, it hasn't gone up from there. I see someone say it was still there earlier, so perhaps it still is. There are only five days left of the campaign with the track managing to become a bestseller on Amazon's digital chart. The next announcement of the chart will be this Friday, January 31st, the same day the UK will finally leave the EU. So we definitely have to try and get Dominic's song up there guys. I might have to see if I can buy a couple of copies and gift them out just to help it out a little bit more. The version the Remainers have chosen is conducted by No One Gives A Shit, the hope is that the campaign will create enough noise that major radio stations such as Radio 1 will have to air the track to their large audience, which is exactly why we need to get the Brexit one up there. Fuck these Ramonas. And the rest of it's just talking a load of crap that we don't really need to go into. It's supposed to just be a quick one, but I've probably already longed it out more than I should have. But anyway, the point of this was more like a public service announcement to put out there that Dominic's song is trying to get to number one and appears to be doing quite well. So if you're able to, like I said earlier, back it, go onto Amazon or iTunes and buy it just to piss off these Ramonas. Let's get it played on Radio 1. But on that note, guys, I am going to end the video there. As some of you will know, I have started doing live streams and uploading gaming content on my second channel. If you are interested in joining me for a chat in real time during one of my live streams, have an interest in gaming related content on YouTube, or simply want to follow me over there because you are a legend, the link to subscribe will be down in the video description and as a pinned comment. I hope to see you all there.
Now, as always, I want to thank our YouTube, PayPal, Patreon, and Subscribestar members for supporting the channel, along with everyone who watches my videos. Remember to let me know what you guys think down in the comments section below. Leave a like, subscribe with the notification bell, and share this video as it helps the channel a lot. And I'll see you all in the next one. There is a pattern consistent throughout history of oppressed people turning on the oppressors. Slaves against their owners, the peasantry against the feudal barons, colonies, Mr. Verhofstadt, against their empires. And that is why Britain is leaving. And it doesn't matter which language you use, we are going and we are glad to be going. We're off. Ramon! Ramon!